And is the diameter out? Mm, similar diameter. So I'm guessing if we weighed this, it might even weigh an ounce. And they've built up the weight in the actual thickness of the coin. But I'll tell you what, I have actually got some scales to hand. So I don't want to make this video too long because we're already coming up to 10 minutes. But I will quickly grab these scales if I can find them. Where did I put them last? There they are. And we'll just have a little look out of interest to see what these actually weigh. Let's get it over onto Troy ounces. I'm not going to adjust all the camera for now. I'm just going to tilt it down. So that's the, the normal one. You can see it weighs just over a Troy ounce. And if we put on this fake one, let's have a look what it comes up as. So there we go. So it does actually weigh an ounce. So that is what they've done. They've made these weigh an ounce, a troy ounce, by increasing the thickness. So I'm not exactly sure what metal these are made from. If you tap it, if you tap them together, they don't sound like silver. It's probably copper coated, maybe silver. It's really, really hard to tell unless you put it on an actual machine that can verify what metal it is. But that is how they managed to get the weight. So if you were to do a simple weight test, you could possibly, especially if you're a new stacker and you didn't know the difference, you could think one of these is real because they've increased the actual thickness of this fake coin to make it so that it weighs the same as a troy ounce. 